How would you spend your last day in life if you knew you were going to die? Would you play it safe or would you live to the fullest? Well, this is what the two main characters in this book have to decide. This is what the book called They Both Die at the End by Adam Silver is about. If you like action-packed, exhilarating, and adventure books, then you're in for a treat. It's all about choosing to live life to the fullest, just like what Mado and Rufus have to decide. In a large city of New York, the options are endless on how they could either spend the day or how they could die on the day. What makes this book so unique is that it has other people in the book that are irrelevant at the time, and towards the end, you get to see how they made an impact on May, Tio, and Rufus. This isn't a very believable story because in real life, Death Cats doesn't call people and tell them that they're, going to die, that they're dying today. That is just absurd. But the good thing is that just because the story isn't believable, it doesn't make it a bad book. It is still actually packed and full of exciting moments. My favorite part in this book is when an old enemy of Rufus comes in and tries to stop the show, but Medio jumps out of character and does something about it. If you like books that are mysterious and also exciting, you should definitely read this book.